Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show where I offer misguided advice about video games. Game of choice, Hearthstone. My name is Meerkat, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Kalento Paladin deck. Found it on Hearthpone.com. Kalento is the number one EU ladder player right now. At least I think he is, or he was. But uh, in any case, I'm going to be showing you this deck today. And as for the mulligan, I'm going to be keeping that curve. It's a nice little curve there to start things off. And I'm going to be playing against a very, uh, very slow game against a warrior who uh, focuses heavily on armoring up. So I'll speed it up here and play a little country music. I don't know why, I just feel like playing against a warrior seems kind of country, like a warrior would be a cowboy, but whatever. <laughs> so this type of deck, uh, it relies on board removal of your opponent. So you've got uh, two wild pyromancers, you've got two consecrations, you've got two equalities. So you've got a number of different ways to remove your opponent's minions. In this case, he's got um, a lot of stuff on his board. I don't want to give him a whole bunch of armor, so neither one of us is really attacking into each other at this point. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and just give myself some card draw. I figure if I can't control the board, I'm at least going to get ahead in my card draw. Uh, usually a pretty good play. If you don't know what to do, or if you uh, feel like you're not going to be able to control the board, if you can pull ahead and card draw, that could have a good advantage for you. Usually in this game, if you can't win in one way, you want to try to win in some other way. Um, and with card draw, that's just preparing for the future. So anyways, um, yeah, with the Kalento Paladin deck, uh, as I mentioned before, it relies a lot on board removal with like consecration, quality, wild pyromancer, things like that, while at the same time it has a few of the valued cards like Azor Drake and uh, Harvest Golem to kind of get you through the middle of the game, but the uh, the real showstopper is your Tyrion Fordring and your, uh, your um, oh god I can't think of that card, um, seven cost card that drops down, it's like some sort of knight, whatever. <laughs> I'm not a big Paladin player. Oh, and he does a brawl here, and I get to keep my Tyrion. I'm sure he wasn't happy about that, but I was. <laughs> but um, yeah, this game, the way that you end up winning is uh, you pretty much pull out the, the higher costing cards around the end after you've gotten rid of everything on his side of the board, and then you pretty much lock in the win. He's got a lay on hands to kind of recover from uh, all the damage that you'll be taking early on, especially when you're playing against aggressive style decks, which. Uh, You'll see, actually you won't see that in the next matchup that I play, the second matchup I play against is a, uh, a Warlock, and that takes takes forever too. But anyways, um, yeah, you can kind of see we're going back and forth here, and uh, <clears throat> we're at Fatigue. We basically have gone through all of our cards, both of us are taking Fatigue, and uh, <clears throat> at this point of the game I'm trying to think of ways to kill him with his Fatigue before he kills me, and alas... I uh, end up pulling out the Consecration twice, and then I think I end up attacking straight into his face with my weapon, and that locks me in the win. And bingo bango, he is done. Cool. So, uh, yeah, Kalento Paladin deck, very fun. Check out the deck list below in the About section of this video if you want the full deck list. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't actually record... Uh, uh, section of the video where I showed the deck in the game, but that's okay. Um, I gotta post it in the information below. Alright, so now I'm playing against a Warlock, and this Warlock, I get him down to like 8 health points relatively quickly, and then he stays there annoyingly for a long time. <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself, okay, this guy, this guy, I, I'm, I'm over this. <laughs> I'm over this game. But, uh, yeah, we'll just speed along here, and, um, he does copy some of my cards with, uh, Faceless Manipulator, and that's rather irritating, but, uh, whatever, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on keeping on doing the typical grind, and playing against a, uh, I think this is a handlock? Or no, I can't tell. He's got a lot of weird, oh, no, 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 yeah, it is a handlock. Um, I can't really figure out the best way to just destroy him because he's at eight hit points so I just have to keep on gritting my way through all his freaking minions <laughs> so as you can see there he, w he wipes everything off the board not a big deal 
I'm still at enough hit points where I'm, I can safely attack into his minion like that. Um, and then here we actually end up pulling out the win. I do the consecration, gets rid of his taunt card. I'm able to push through with my weapon and attack him straight in for the jugular, locking in the win. Very cool. Alright, so uh, this deck has over 100 upvotes on hearthphone.com now. So it's a very popular deck already, and why not? It's Clento. Clento is a great player. So, uh, yeah, folks, hope you enjoyed my video. Um, check out Meerkat guy on youtube.com and uh, I apologize for the lack of enthusiasm in my voice right now I just woke up not too long ago and I have to go to work <laughs> all right so uh, folks until next time my name is Meerkat